Hey guys, it's Killjoy here, and today in Behind the Mayhem, we're going to learn how to trap unsuspecting players and burn them in Stormworks. So uh, we're going to make a microcontroller called Burn It to the Ground, and basically what's going to happen is we've rigged up a couple of small engines encased in diesel fuel, and if you're not authorized to run the ship when, when you try to uh, go anywhere, um, you're actually going to trigger this trap. Uh, so what we want to do is, first of all, we want to uh, create an input where we can enable the cleansing. So this is the on button. Um, then from there, we'll have an output uh, to start up the engines. And uh, yeah, once they start up, there's, there's no turning them back uh, if we do it right. And here you see that we're calling it autoclave. Then we're going to have another input where we're going to measure the temperature. And as soon as the temperature goes over 30 degrees, we're going to lock it all down like Madagascar in, in a pandemic. Yeah, so pretty simple. Two inputs, two outputs, lay them out on a 2x2 two two microcontroller. Now we'll get into the logic. Um, like everyone else, I, I like to spread this stuff out uh, so it's a little easier to see. And this will all start making a whole lot more sense. So what do we want to do? Well, basically, uh, we're going to uh, initiate a startup sequence, right? So uh, start up the autoclave. And, and when that happens, we, we want the engines to start. And what's important is we don't want people to be able to turn them off. Uh, so, so we'll actually let those run and uh, stop people from turning them off. So first thing we'll do though is let's lock the doors uh, when we hit 30 degrees. So here it's just a simple greater than and a constant. So when the temp is greater than 30, send a signal to lock the door. Then uh, let's enable a simple timer uh, that'll run and, and this will run uh, when you start it, it'll send an on signal to the starter of the engine and it won't turn back off um, until the timer has expired. So this will give our engines plenty of time to, uh, to start up, start the fire, and uh, once we do this, there's no going back. So, so we'll just put in a property number here and uh, you know, I, I just use something simple like uh, five seconds, which is plenty of time for that star to kick in on a small engine. So now that we have a microcontroller, let's quickly save it. Uh, so let's see, save it. And uh, I called it autoclave because uh, we're going to burn our, uh, our captain's area clean and uh, make a quick symbol so you know what it looks like. So uh, this is my attempt at fire. Uh, but, but yeah, so, so let's burn this down and now we'll be able to find it for in our ship. So now we're just going to dump the uh, auto control. So what I like to do is, uh, here, here's the small engines. We've hit them in the helm. And, um, you know, let, let's, uh, let's give the players a fighting chance. So uh, we'll, we'll bury the uh, autoclave uh, controller right in here. And then we'll cover it up with, uh, here's some firefighting gear. Uh, give him a fire extinguisher. It doesn't matter. They're, they're completely hopeless. But, uh, you know, they'll think they have a fighting chance. And remember, when you're messing with people, it's the psychological effects that really does the most damage. So now we'll go ahead and connect it up. This should make sense now. So uh, basically, yep. So when, when we enable it and we want to start it up, start the engines lock down the door to the helm and 
do that when the temperature on the small engine equals 30 degrees. Now, these engines, the way I have them set up is the cooling runs from the hot side directly to cold side. No radiators, nothing. Um, and we also set the RPS to 100. Uh, these things basically catch on fire in under five seconds um, and they explode. Now we'll tie it to a button I've called trolling here. You've heard of a trolling engine? Well, this is trolling engines. Uh, so we're going to troll some unsuspecting players uh, later on. And with that, let's uh, go ahead and, you know what, don't even give them the chance. Uh, so I, I changed my mind. I, I don't want any chance of these people to live so um, we're going to give them a gun to shoot themselves and uh, s some underwater diving gear instead. Uh, yeah, so underwater diving gear, not the firefighting gear, which looks almost identical. And then uh, we'll give them a flare gun and, and some ammo. Uh, and, and that makes it seem even more hopeless, hopefully. Okay, let's spawn it. Okay, so now we're spawned, we're, we're out to sea here, and we'll see just how effective these trolling engines are. So you click the button, start it up, and 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, boom. Um, they are on fire. Um, not only are they on fire, but if you go down, we'll see that, yep, the door is locked and we are trapped in a room uh, full of fire. Grab some diving gear, because, you know, why not? First aid kit, that, that'll come in handy for a bit. Um, once this fire starts, it's really, really difficult. So you, you turn off the buttons, it, it doesn't matter. Um, it, it's, it's not going out. Uh, so, so what we can do is this is a jet engine boat. Um, maybe we can blow out the fire if, if we go fast enough. I, I don't think that's going to be effective, though. Um, it is still raging. Yeah, this is, this is no way out of here. Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, well, I, I didn't think this through. Uh, but, hey, when testing, some, sometimes you make sacrifices. So, uh, we do have water on board. There's no way those water cannons are going to hit here. We, we, are, we are trapped. Uh, yeah, and that fire is uh, it's definitely gone. Um, that's... Uh, it's fire in stereo, which is what I like. I, I like to have the engines on both sides so that if one happens to fail, you're, you're still stuck and they're still firing. You'll, you'll notice the helm in this ship is, is made specifically so there's only one entrance and one exit and we've blocked it with fire. Um, so you know, going for a sort of futuristic a firefighting boat, but also uh, something that I can just go and, and wreak havoc everywhere. Um, one of the things I believe in is if I'm suffering, everyone should suffer. So I, I see an AI ship out there. Um, I've turned on the jets. We're going to spool those up. Uh, this boat will do about 70 meters a second, which considering how large it is, is, is pretty damn fast. And uh, let's just take out this boat with us. If nothing else, maybe it flips us over a bit and we can uh, we can put out the fire that way by having water go over. Oh, I forgot. I actually already caught that boat on fire before. Um, well, shit, that did not go as planned. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's spawn a tsunami here. Maybe uh, we can get that to put us out. That... Uh, that was one heck of a wreckage. I'm not going to lie. I, I did not think this through. Oh, boy. Uh, and the fire is still going. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, yep, I see the tsunami. Whew. Now it's just going to be a question of what gets us first, fire or water. Um, I don't know which is better, to be honest with you. This is, uh, this, this did not go well, um, but that's good. That's good that it didn't go well because we want it to go really badly for the people that we play these pranks on. Um, so this is all in the name of science. It looks like we got a bit of a list. 
think that crash was not yo oh that's on fire too mm, that's all diesel fuel and, and jet fuel uh, and uh, yeah we are filling up with water quite a bit okay well tsunami though so uh, let's let's see if this thing can can put out the, the fire hopefully um, yeah it's it's getting hot so I'm not gonna lie I don't think this is gonna work I think we are we are sort of done for um, okay well tsunami yeah yeah we're underwater and we're still on fire we're still on fire but boat is surprisingly uh, buoyant and uh, self-running so so that's a win I guess um, okay uh, you know what I'm just gonna make a run for it I, th I think um, yeah there's nothing else I can do okay by this time hopefully the controller has burned up and is no longer able to actively lock that door for testing purposes that's ideal but you know um, I, I think we'll have to make a couple revisions to this to, to make it even better and, and even more foolproof but let's go and see if we can get out of here and uh, try the door um, okay I'm gonna run for it go 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 uh, yes it worked okay cool 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 um, I'm stuck on the stairs Okay, no, 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 climb, climb, climb. Wow, we are really starting to tip downward. Okay, I think the water, okay, but wearing a diving suit. We're fine, we're fine, okay. And let's get out. Open, open, come on, stop closing the door. Open, open, okay, go, 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 go. Come on, come on, I'm stuck. Okay, and I'm out. Okay, well, a couple of things to improve. And I'm going to make those improvements, and you'll see the finished creation uh, next on Maximum Mayhem. <laughs>